guys, so today we're taking the Reaper down to Core's Performance and putting it on the dyno. We call it the Reaper 1200 for a reason. It actually has about 1200 horsepower to the crank. So today we're going to see exactly how much power it has to the wheels. We're going to drive down there, it's over in Tempe, um, throw it on the dyno and check it out. I wonder if, like, dynoing in Florida versus Arizona, difference in humidity in the air and yeah. all that stuff, how does that affect the numbers at all? Yeah, I think it will because usually you tune it for your location and where you're at. So, like, if you're in Colorado, you're tuning it for, you know, that altitude and the thin air. So, that's what I think that's what I'm most interested in seeing is the difference of. Arizona versus Florida as far as the horsepower. So this is actually our first YouTube video that we've done uh, like this vlog style But let us know if you guys like it. And we'll keep doing it You know, we wanted to get some more content out there and we're starting it off with the dyno So, you know, if you guys have other ideas other videos you want to see shout it out in the comments Roll down the window. Got another overpass. Gotta take advantage of it. Good Lord! <laughs> have to admit, <laughs> I want to see this video afterwards and see the look on my face. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys haven't seen on our store, we have a sticker and a shirt that says Code Brown. <laughs> Might have had a code brown moment. Code brown. <laughs> See if I can find it. I feel like I always miss this turn. Was that it? Yeah. I think um, that was just. <laughs> oh well. Oops, we get to drive the car somewhere. Yeah. We have, All right, where is this place? I think it's that one right there. Yeah, it's right. There we go. What's up guys, we're over here at Cord's Performance. About to take the Reaper in for a dyno. See what kind of power this thing makes. Yeah, you guys have been asking for it, so we're here. We're gonna throw it on the dyno, but also show you the results uh, once it's done. Stay tuned. try to be really crazy about all the attention to detail like we spent a lot of time with all the heat management stuff and driving it using our flare gun seeing where it gets really hot and then uh, addressing it as needed so because he, he's gonna drive the shit out of this the old combo made just a little over a thousand and he put about 30 thousand miles on that. custom cams ported heads cobra jet um hopefully make around 600 na should do pretty good it weighs nothing yeah the c6 is my tuner um, it's a milder version of my combo. It just stays here uh, for race events and everything. Okay. This one, first pass just went 8.4 at 176, just leaving off the foot brake on 20 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Crazy. laughs> when it was a stick, made 1480 wheel. Uh, now it's a power glide setup, so we did. he's wanting to do more drag race with it. Um, so we built him a full cage. It's another one. It's a, our air to water intercooler. It's behind the bumper, billet intake manifold. Uh, big fuel system, all that stuff. It's a uh, built motor, uh, big pro charger, it's a stick car. It has our air to water uh, intercooler behind the bumper. The problem is with all the COVID stuff is this car has been done for like three and a half months, but getting transport to pick it up and then boat it across. Mm. So it's just- Where's it going? Waiting to buy. Dubai. Oh, so they shipped it over here. So you guys work on it and then ship it back. That's you know? crazy. We just took one a while ago. It's a uh, big Magnuson 2650 built bottom end, uh, one of our head scan packages. Um, now we're developing a 10 rib setup um, to spin the blowers a little bit harder. Okay. So we just got done machining all the pulleys and now we're figuring out belt lengths and everything for the different pulley combos. So we always test it first with a six rib because they're really easy to get six ribs in the lengths we need. And then once we figure out that, then we'll get then go to 10. The, the 10 rib built stuff. Yeah. All 
All right, we are back at the office. I'm yeah. excited to uh, do our G8 versus Reaper race. Yeah, I'm excited. Maybe my grip is better and I get a good launch and maybe I can take it. Maybe the G8 will win. All right, guys, so we just got done over at Course Performance. Just got done on the dyno. And uh, we have the results here, which I'll share with you. I also want to show you guys a couple little tricks if you guys are dynoing. So come on over here and under the hood on these S550 Mustangs, uh, they unplug this little clip right here, which disables all the nannies, your stability control, ABS, traction control. Um, when you unplug that, it disables all that and puts it um, in a mode that you can dyno it. Uh, but here's the results. This run was 966 horsepower with 693 torque. Back when we had it dynoed at Palm Beach Dyno, it ran 1,007 horsepower. So this is a little bit lower. And there's a couple reasons why. One that they actually told us, and this is actually new to me, is the tires that we're running. Um, back when it was dynoed at Palm Beach, it had street tires on it. And uh, these Mickey Thompson drag, the drag radials actually will wrap and you lose about 30 horsepower. Another thing is, we definitely can use an air filter cleaning. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty. Um, we didn't clean it before we dynoed it, but these are the things that can definitely uh, make an impact on your results. And, you know, with just the street tires alone, we would have been sitting around 996 um, back at Palm Beach that dynoed at 1007. So we're right there in the ballpark. So, you know, we've been calling it 1200 horsepower. Um, that's actually crank horsepower. And so for, if you don't know already, you lose about 18% through your drivetrain. So going from crank to wheels, you lose about 18%. So if we're right around a thousand horsepower, call it, and we add that 18% in for, to calculate crank horsepower, we're right at about 1180 would be the actual number for uh, horsepower at the crank. So that puts us pretty much right there at that 1200 mark. So there you have it, 966 horsepower to the wheels today, 1007 back when we did it at Palm Beach Dino. Um, we went over some of the reasons why for you. Also, this will be ending on January 30th, so you have a chance to win the Reaper 1200 or one of our other two cars, head to the website to check them out, or $30,000 cash. The winner will also receive a custom wrap by Rapsesh, two car garage floor by Racetech, and cash along with the car. VIPs have their own additional giveaway where they will be entered into a $3,500 performance parts package. If you like this video today, give us a thumbs up. This is our first ever YouTube video. We're going to be doing more of this. So give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one.